Worth reportedly has more grain elevators than any other inland city in the state of Texas. That stems from the days when Cowtown was a major railroad hub and farmers for hundreds of miles around had to send their grain here for shipping onto the processing plants and feed mills. But recent news events have underlined the fact that a grain elevator is not the safest place in the world to work. Actually, the safety record around here is pretty good. The last disastrous grain elevator accident took place in February 1943 when the Burris Mills plant in Saginaw exploded, sending three to the hospital and doing $5 million damage. But even after 34 years, there is no final solution in sight. Vernon Hayes has been supplying parts and equipment for grain elevators for more than three decades, and even now he says the best precautions operators can take amount to little more than good housekeeping. Good uh, in-house maintenance programs, uh, good dust collection systems, and uh, good precautions where either cutting or welding must be performed are I think recognized by most uh, people conscious of these things would uh, do insist upon to prevent the possibility of such occurrences. A fine dust within a closed area, like grain dust in an elevator, is one of the most explosive and dangerous situations imaginable. A federal grain inspector calls the dust a nightmare for every elevator in the country. We got a demonstration of how dangerous from Fire Captain Travis Boston. He used a teaspoon of flour, a small candle, and a plastic box. And what I'm going to do is blow into this tube and create a dust cloud inside this box. Now these dust explosions occur when you have the proper mixture of dust uh, particles and air, and then a source of ignition. Now, in one of these fires, I understand that there was some welding taking place and some repair work along one of the lines. So let's see what happens when I blow into this. So long as grain continues to be stored in large silos and has to be lifted as much as 150 feet in the air to be stored, there will be grain dust in those silos, and the danger of explosions will still exist. Joe Stroop, The Texas News.